It is Brent Daniels for another video episode and this one is bananas because I have two of my TTP family members here from all the way from Tennessee and from Louisiana. So, I'm James Crockett from Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. Abram Mitchell from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You recognize this guy because just a few uh, videos ago I did an interview with him on the Wholesaling Inc. podcast because these guys are doing unbelievable business in their market. They flew out to Phoenix to spend the day with me. So here is a video recap of what we talked about. We talked about putting together uh, different structures for their business, making sure that it's as efficient as possible, and making sure that their TTP channel is as effective and as profitable as possible. So check it out. So this is her overdue tasks. So usually she's like at 60 overdue because she's been with me two years and she has like billions of leads. Uh, not billions, so she's probably got 400 leads uh, that are active that she's following up with. So she's got all these and then here's her to-do list today. This is her to-do list. See so yeah, how there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 leads. And then she's got, let's call it 10 follow-ups. So she's got 27 people to call today. Yeah, so she'll call and text message, just depending on how far along in the process they are. And if we can't get a hold of them, she'll, she'll call them three times, leave three voicemails, and text them three times, and then dead them. Call three times. Yeah. Text three times. Mm -hmm. Three voicemails. Yeah. And then she dead them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is that depending on what type of deal it is? Like, say you talk to them and yeah. what if, if they're like super a motivated, like yeah, if, yeah. if all the notes are in there and you had a really good conversation that just kind of ghosting on you, yeah. we'll, we'll stick with it. Yeah, because I know people yeah, that we'll we called like eight times. I mean, yeah. Gloria, she, she ain't answered the phone for yeah, no, she a long time. time mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, 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 no, we, we stick on it for, I mean, if it's hot, hot, and the condition is really rough, or we've got a really good price out of them, we stick with it 100%. Yeah. yeah. So you use Investor Fuse yeah. for just task management. Mm -hmm. So what about like managing or see like your leads and stuff? What do you use? That's all here. You use that too, okay. Yeah, so, so not just tasks then. No, 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 I'm you sorry. Said, you, yeah, said, yeah. you said just tasks, okay. So this is the leads, right? So this is, we got the address here, we've got the seller's name, his phone number, right? Yes. And then we've got the notes in here. And this is from, this is a lead from Eric. Uh, and what they're trying to do on every single cold call is get those four pillars of pre-qual, right? What's the condition? What's their timeline to sell? What's their motivation? What's their price, right? So we're to, he, it's a lot easier to open up those conversations with people when you're talking about the condition of the property. Right? They'll start telling you all sorts of different things and why they want to sell and what's going on. If you kind of get them, to, the longer you get them talking, the better. The more that you're asking them questions and you're confirming and proving, you're active listening to them. You know what I mean? They're talking to you and you're saying, uh huh, sure, yeah, got it, okay. How about the AC? Yeah, understand. You know, that type of thing. People naturally open up and will give you an idea. Um, he didn't get, he couldn't get too much. Got to talk to the husband about the selling price. Okay. So they weren't sure about that. The remap modeling right now, putting in a new floor and backsplashes, new roof, AC is original. Mm -hmm. So I would go back to Eric and say, Eric, what, what is going on here? Dude? Like, what, when do they want to sell this? Yeah. Like, why do they want to sell? What is their motivation? Why are they fixing it up? Who beat this house up? Why are they remodeling it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the, the conversation. That's how you develop your cold callers into like masters yeah. to pull out all the information. Let me see if I can get a deal. Um, I've got a guy that's been with me for three years. Is that Luke? No, Luke's the man. Luke has it. Luke's killing it on his own. Luke's, Luke's in a different different place right now. <laughs> um, yeah, Luke will do 600K just from his own cold call. Man. Yeah. And he in Costa Rica, huh? No, 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 Luke's down the street. Oh, he's, yeah. Oh, okay. And he works from home? He's got an office. Yeah. He oh, wait, work. so Luke, you said, does he work for you still? Does no. he call? Uh, a little bit. He does. Oh, so he does. So he's branched off. Yeah. 
that they. So this is this is interesting. So my disposition manager Billy Bell is now going to do his own thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So he's branching off. He's going to do something that you'll understand when you start hiring me on acquisition and disposition, everything like yeah. that is. They can make a hundred grand, right? And it's a lot of work and they do their job. It's not crazy. They're not building roads or putting up skyscrapers or anything like that. Let's be real. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not teachers by any means or nurses or cops, you know, like real tough, you know, grinds every day. But um, they see they see uh, me make a deal for 50 grand. Like, I can do that. I know everything he's doing. I know where he's marketing to. I, cause that's I, what I talk about, about all the time. Yeah, yeah. And that's fine because mm -hmm. winners evolve. The winners evolve. So yeah, yeah. you have the time to, to work with them and then they're off on their own. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude's got a nice camera downstairs. What are they doing downstairs all of And that's why I tell, that's why I said I want to be the best acquisition manager mm -hmm. before I even think about bringing somebody on to be one. Yeah. Because you got to know how to do it. Yeah. Just for things like yeah. that. Well, yeah, I mean, you got to be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know how to do it and then somebody that's awesome at it leaves you, yeah. well, your, your business is torpedo, right? So how do you pay them? Acquisition, Acquisition. managers? Um, they get uh, 15 to 20% of the deal. And that's just depending? Yeah, it's depending. So when it came to, when it comes to cold calling, the cold calling takes um, a lot of follow-up. Right, yeah. as you're as you're aware of. I mean, some you pop right away, but most of it's in the follow up. Um, so it's just more work. So they get twenty percent. If it's if it's something like a text lead or a, a mail or something, they get fifteen percent because it's just one. It costs a lot more for mail, and I don't even do it anymore. Um, so I guess at this point they just make twenty percent. Yeah. Right. and they're just straight commission. Yes. Yeah. 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 Except for Alejandra, because she does everything. <laughs> how did it, how did the edit turn out? What? How did the edit turn out on our video from yesterday? The what? The edit. Oh, it went good. It took forever though. Is it the greatest video of all time? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> that is not encouraging. <laughs> not only Cody Hoffman. Cody. How are you, you wild man? I am sitting here with two uh, awesome TT peers from Louisiana and Nashville that flew in for the for the day. So what's what's cracking, man? Today we basically spent the day with our mentor Brent Daniels. We're part of his TTP program. Uh, he walked us through our first wholesale deals, and today we came up here to basically start bumping it up and scaling our business to the next level. We went over things like distribution, which is building your buyers list, um, acquisitions, job details of those people we will be hiring, how we will be paying them, how to structure our business, and the outlook of 2019, basically. I would say that this trip overall, it was great. I'm ready to get home and implement the tools that Brent taught us, I mean, as quick as possible to take the next step in, into my business, I would recommend anyone to join the TTP program because I mean, cold calling is the best source of marketing. In my opinion, and everyone in here, I mean, we came in the office, he showed us the um, amazing office experience. It's a great environment, somewhere that, I mean, basically somewhere that you can start a business and lead people to grow with each other and expand. Yep, I'm actually going to start implementing it tonight when I get to my hotel room. Uh, one of the big things he helped us uh, with is the CRM system. We're trying to, uh, trying to focus on uh, expanding on our lead flow through like a CRM system. And Podio is one of them that we, it, Podio is what he uses. He actually uses InvestorFuse, a version of Podio. And I'm, I'm going to look into that, purchasing that. and. Uh, get that implemented right away. We also got a chance to uh, make some live cold calls with them, see them in action, see the teacher, show the, teach the student live, some on-hands training, learn some negotiating tactics, some ways that we're gonna implement and teach our employees how we expect them to cold call and the results that we expect from them, how to keep them accountable. We also learned how to keep each other accountable as 
we form a partnership, he put even though he's a solo, he gave us tips on that.